Okay, this is a big one. I had to do some research. I try to do some research sometimes, but I've... Um, just depends. I don't know. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I don't know. I don't have to research anything. I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, this one I've heard a lot of people chattering about. Nightwish is the carpenter. Uh, it's interesting. Anyone listening to this channel that's a Nightwish fanatic, I'm not saying anything that you don't already know, but I'll still express how I feel about what I'm about to watch or listen to. So the carpenter is the first single. So I didn't know that. I had no idea this was the first single Nightwish ever released. And it's from their first album, of course, called Angels Fall First. So I've never reacted to this song because the majority of the songs of Nightwish that I've reacted to have been pretty much have been live performances. Some have been studio versions of songs that haven't been live. So this song was performed live for the first time in over 20 years with Floor and Troy, I guess, sharing vocal duties because originally it was Taria and Tuamas who lent his voice to the original song. And I don't think I've ever heard Tuamas sing. And I've heard he's probably not the most prolific singer in the world. Probably sings better than me. So I haven't heard the original. So this is, I guess this is a reaction, definitely, to the song itself, you know, as rendered by the present day Nightwish band. Um, I'm sure, uh, speaking of which, I'm sure, I haven't talked about the Taria debacle in a while. Some of my recent videos of the Buenos Aires concert have, of course, brought out the Taria uh, fanatics, and that's fine. And I don't know why we keep having this discussion. I guess it's like David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar. It's the discussion that never ends between the battles of the singers. And poor Annette is in there in the middle, you know, getting pulled between the two of them. Uh, I guess there are those in the Annette camp who like her as their favorite singer. But all that being said... Um, uh, we have to, not we, but this is the night wish of today. It's it's floor, and again, uh, I love her, and I and I have no issues with Taria, and I have no issues a little bit with Annette. Like I don't have any real issues. I don't care. Like I wish them all the best and all the success, and I'm grateful for all they've done. But I I have yet to be disappointed by Floor's performances of the older songs. So with that being said, here we go. The Carpenter, live in Buenos Aires. Where did it go? Boy, I got all these. T <laughs> See, guys, I'm doing all this work for you, and I don't even know where I am. So I'll just keep talking. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, here we go. Live. Let's check it out. I hear kids walking around. Okay, let's see if we can get through it. Good evening, beautiful people of the wild, wild south. Troy. Well, it's time. How are you? Are you enjoying our time machine? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going back a long, long way now. We're going to go back to the uh, late 17th century. This was a big hit in China at the time, and it's a song all about carpentry.
on they lick The same old sick Dream of their precious saviour And kiss them deep Make them weep Sorry, it's, it's interesting here. You've got these three individuals here, Troy, Floor, and Marco, they're like the almost the newest members of the band. And then over here to the left, I wonder if this was done on purpose. You got Empu and Tuamas together. And then kind of in the middle, of course, the drum set can't move, uh, is Kai. And I said Yarku before, and I apologize. I just, these Finnish names aren't familiar with me. Um, and I know that's the two drummers. Give me credit for knowing the two drummers' names, Yarku and Kai. So this is Kai on drums, right? So anyways, um, so I just found that interesting. I wonder if that was intentional. I mean, it must have been intentional. So you got the new the new members over here, the, the original, the OGs of the band over here. So interesting. I mean, I love it so far. I mean, I love it. It's, and it's interesting because I'm listening to it um, as the first single of Nightwish. So when Nightwish entered the music scene those years ago this is what they said hey world this is us this is what we this is what we're going to sound like so it's an interesting song to, to listen to, to because when a band does that that's kind of like that's the image that they want to be known for especially for a debut single so this is an interesting piece of history solo and i know in the early days of the night wish apparently the ampu did more solos and stuff i wonder why they yeah i mean i don't know i'm not a music person like i don't know how to write music but it's interesting that they chose to kind of go away from that a little bit but that was really cool to hear the acoustic i don't know i don't know the name of the guitar that troy has i'm sure people in comments will correct me but that acoustic kind of mandolin guitar in the background juxtapositioning with the metal guitar riff it was cool
Muchas gracias. Oh, de nada. All right. That was awesome. And I love Troy's vocals. They're very soft. He's like the soft Marco. And boy, I mean, what a talent those three are, Marco, Floor, and Troy. Like, hey, Tuamas, you write all these songs. Full credit to you for writing these songs. But my goodness, these, the band today, eh? Like, the talent they bring. And, I mean, Troy can play instruments too. So they just add a whole new element to this band. I love the addition of Troy. The Troy-Floor combo. Would that be Troy or Floy? Which one do you like better? All right. Um, that was awesome. It was a beautiful song. An interesting first single. Very interesting first single. Um, yes, people are going to say, you got to listen to the original. You got to hear Tuama sing. You don't understand. Tarya. I got you. I hear you. Message received. Loud and clear. 